We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful, precious name of Jesus. It is another day that God has given us a brand new day to press on and to receive from the living God. He's such a good God. He is gracious. He's merciful. He is slow to anger and abounding in love. And he is faithful. I tell you, my dear friend, even when everyone else has forsaken us, God is still with us. When everyone else forsakes you, when all those around you who claim to be your friends forsake you, God will still be with you because he is a friend that is closer than a brother. Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit and then I want to speak to you quickly and then we'll go into a time of prayer. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control and help us to pray today. As I share the scripture today, open it up to my dear friend who is tuned in, that my dear friend may understand and know, and lead my dear friend closer to Jesus. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the Bible says in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 17, it says every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like the shifting shadows. I love the scripture, especially the latter part. But the former also holds power. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights. Now, understand and know that God never changes. He isn't a God who will love you today, then tomorrow he wants to punish you, then he loves you today and then tomorrow he's not with you. He's with you today and then he leaves you tomorrow. No. God is a God who doesn't change. It goes on and says in the scripture, who does not change like the shifting shadows. And this God, this great God who loves us so much, who is with us, who strengthens us, will never leave us. He will never forsake us. And I want to encourage you in this season from the scripture in the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. It says, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not be faint because their strength comes from God. We should keep our hope and our trust in God. One thing I've learned over the years and one thing I am sure and certain about. Those who trust in God are never disappointed. They may go through hard times, but in the end, God sees them through because God knows better than we do and God is in charge of all if Jesus says yes concerning your life nobody can say no the grace of God is sufficient in all seasons and this great big God that we serve and love he has got good plans for you if you follow God's perfect will for your life I want to tell you that you will not be harmed because he is faithful. It says in the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. If you walk in the will of God, 
and follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. As we discern the way that God wants us to go and we receive confirmation and we walk in it, God will lead us in places as described in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Hallelujah. We serve a good God and he really loves us and this love was demonstrated through the full and finished work of the cross and it was demonstrated through the Father and also through the Son and everyone who has seen the Son has seen the Father because the Son does only what the Father does and if we look in the book of Hebrews chapter 12 from verse 2 it says looking to Jesus the founder and the perfecter of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising its shame and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God my dear friend it was a joy for Jesus to take up our punishment upon himself so that we could have a chance at salvation at freedom freedom from bondage spiritual bondage freedom from the separation between man and God so that we could have freedom he really loved us to a point that it gave him joy to take up our punishment upon himself and he endured the cross setting aside its shame you see in those days the cross was a place where people who were bad who had done bad things would be punished and being up there in a way it was a shame but Jesus took the lowly place he took up our punishment upon himself the punishment of our transgression the punishment of our sin and he made a way for us the Bible says for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life the Bible also says we are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ so Jesus displayed his love and his faithfulness and this also displays the love and the faithfulness of the father and if God went that far to save you how much more will he do even as you cry out to him in your situation understand and know God is faithful don't leave God don't move away from him even in tough times choose to trust him and he will make a way for you in saying that let us go into a time of prayer let us begin by praising God for a few moments and as we discern God's presence then I'll begin to pray for you father you are the Alpha and the Omega the beginning and the end the God who speaks and you live the God who makes a way where there seems to be no way the God who delivers us from all the attacks of the enemy the God who is faithful the God who gives us life you're the God who has made a way where there seemed to be no way you're the God who has made a way where there was no way you're the God who intervenes in our life and brings deliverance where deliverance is needed you're the God who saved us from separation from eternal separation from you which is one of the worst punishments that anyone can receive you're the God who made a way through grace because all have fallen short all make mistakes in one way or another 
and therefore in all your understanding you knew it is only by grace that we could make it and we give you praise and we thank you help us to walk in your will and be glorified even as we do so I ask this in Jesus name Amen my dear friend as I begin to pray for you I encourage you comment and agree and believe father I pray for my dear friend in whatever situation my dear friend is facing be it a tough time or a very dark situation or something that just seems overwhelming for my dear friend who is tuned in my dear friend your dear son my dear friend your dear daughter I pray that you will show your faithfulness that you never leave you never forsake your children deliver my dear friend from all trouble from all attacks of the enemy from all attacks of anxiety and worry deliver my dear friend from all fear and let my dear friend receive the reassurance in their heart that you are with them always I pray that you will do a miracle where my dear friend is trusting you for a miracle bring divine intervention where divine intervention is needed bring breakthrough where breakthrough is needed do miracles signs and wonders that your children may see and believe and know that even in this day and age you are still moving you are still touching people you are still changing lives you are still making a way where there seems to be no way and you bless us be glorified and be magnified in Jesus name amen and amen god bless you my dear friend god be with you may the grace of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with you in Jesus name amen thank you for watching if you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.